my name is rahul and this week i'm back with another python tutorial uh, the topic for this video is uh, how to use google sheets with an alexa skill and uh, by the end of the video you will be able to successfully integrate uh, google sheets with an alexa skill and uh, use uh, you know the integration to read data from the sheets and also write data if you want to so uh, without wasting any time let's see how it's done so to get started we'll open up uh, the alexa developer console and uh, inside alexa developer console we'll create a new skill i'll just name it google sheets example and uh, select english us select alexa hosted python and click on create skill over here i'll choose import skill option and to import the skill code let's head over to github.com/dabblelab and uh, you know for those of you who are regular watchers you will be familiar with uh, the templates that dabblelab provides so these are free templates and you can check them out on our github page so all you need to do is just go there and search for template number 55 which is this one and open it up uh click on the code button and copy this uh, https url for the template and just paste this url right here and click on import uh we'll wait a few minutes while this uh, process gets completed ideally it should uh, you know just take about a minute or two if you uh, you know if you're looking for any urls or any resources that i'm displaying in this video then just check out the description of the video and you'll find all of the urls right there so you know you don't need to worry about all of that uh now the process of deploying uh, the skill is complete so let's just proceed further i'll quickly uh, try and run the skill to give you a quick demo ideally it should fail but let's see see the invocation is change me so let's just change it to template 55 or just simply google sheets example so if you are building this skill uh, you know using this template uh then then make sure uh, the name of the uh you know you you change the invocation name because at times what happens is people just use the uh, you know deployment uh, use the report to deploy it but forget to change the invocation name and you know it causes them errors they are not able to invoke their skill so make sure it doesn't happen with you and you uh, successfully change the name of the skill once we've done that and uh, the build uh, you know model is complete we'll head over to the test section and we'll try and invoke the skill so i'll just wait another minute while this gets completed all right now uh, since this is complete let's go to the test section So now we are in the test console and our uh, since our build is complete let's try out uh, the skill over here There was a problem with the requested skills response As you can see it said there was a problem with the skills response and the reason for that is that if you go to the code section you'll find that there is a file in the code which is named credentials.json on the left side and uh, in this file it, there is a text message which says replace this text with the data from the credentials.json file now we we don't have any credentials.json really this is the file so don't get confused we are talking about some other file here which now i'll be showing you how to obtain it so let's get started with that process so for that I'll be uh, using a guide which is right here and the link for this guide is also there in the description. So if you click on the first link over here it takes you to uh, console.developers.google.com/project and uh, since I'm using multiple accounts of Google signed in so I'll just quickly change the account to my Dabble Lab account. <clears throat> Sorry. So 
once you uh, open up that url you'll see a list of projects that are uh, you know available on your account so as you can see here uh, we only have one project so i'll start by creating a new project and i'll name this one uh, google sheets example so you can name it anything i simply named it google sheets example and i'll click on create And uh, once that is done, uh, over here you can see an option. I'll select the project and I'll proceed ahead. So once the project is selected and you reach this page, just click on the navigation menu on the top left. And uh, from there, click on APIs and services. Over here, what we need to do is we need to enable two APIs, which is the Google Drive API and uh, the Google Sheets API. Since, uh, you know, Sheets is a part of the, you know, it's stored in Google Drive. So we need uh, access to both the things. So just click on enable APIs and services. And from here, just search for um, the first one, which is Drive. And... Uh, Enable it. It's it's done. The next thing that you need to do is again go back to you know just go back to the previous page. And uh, this time over here, search for sheet and enable it. So now that, uh, you know, both the APIs are enabled, uh, you know, um, half of our work is done here. So let's just go back to to our project and click on the navigation menu again go again go to apis and services now the next thing we need is we need to go to this credentials tab on the left hand side and uh, if you click on the credentials tab you'll see such a page and you'll see that there are no credentials over here as of now so i'll again uh, click on this button on the top which says create credentials and from here, I get several options. So I'll select uh, the option named service account. And I'll just give this any name. Again, I'll name it Google Sheets example. And cl click on create. You don't need to do anything else here. Just create it and click on done down below. Leave everything as it is. And once this is done, this is the last step that we need to uh, generate the key which is uh, if you click on the service account over here at the bottom you'll see this option over here which says keys go to this option and click on add key it says create a new key and upload an existing key. So I'll just click on create new key and the type of the key would be JSON. And I'll simply click on create. So it says private key saved to your computer. So if you can see a file was just downloaded on my PC and uh, uh, you'll similarly, you'll see that a JSON file will be downloaded on your end. So just open up that JSON file on any of the text editors which are available to you and proceed to the next step. Now you can, uh, once this is done, you can simply uh, just close it. Next, what you need to do is go back to uh, the Alexa developer console and uh, the file that was just created, just open up that file, the, uh, you know, the, the JSON file that was downloaded and copy all the content inside that file and just paste it out here. So you'll see that the content looks something like this. 
and uh, uh, you know once once that is done just click on save the next thing you need to do is uh, you need to head to sheets.google.com and uh, such a page will open up if you do that click on uh, create new sheet just the blank option and uh, give the sheet any name so i'll simply name it uh, let's say i'll name it alexa example after doing this what we are trying to uh, do in this demonstration is we'll be picking up some information from the the first cell of this sheet so i'll uh, simply write a message here this is a welcome message coming from the sheet right so if you can see over here this is in cell number a1 so those of you who don't know you can check the name of any cell on the top left corner over here so this cell is a1 just remember it we'll use it later on in our code so all right our credentials file is saved and it's done now another thing that you know the the step that we need to take here is you see this client email over here since we've created a service account, what we'll need to do is that we'll need to copy this email ID and uh, go back to the sheet and click on the share option in the sheet and share uh, this sheet with this particular email ID that we have created for our service account. Uh, this is required because once you do this, then uh, the service account will be able to access this particular sheet. So I hope you understand that this step is uh, you know very important uh, with regards to sharing the access so once you've done that uh, the skill should now ideally have access to all the stuff that we need the last thing that remains is right now you can see a url over here the sheet url but by the time you watch this video the uh, you know the file would be updated and would not contain any any url so i'll just simply uh, replace this url with the sheet url that i'm going to use copy that from over there and just paste it over here i'll just remove the last part uh, so yeah now the the url will look something like this and uh, i think we have all the necessary things that we need and if you can see in the launch request handler i am uh, fetching the uh, cell value which is coming from a1 uh, cell number a1 so i'll uh, you know go over it but once uh, let's simply you know run the skill and uh, see if it's working so i'll run on my uh, device instead of the test console alexa open google sheets example this is a welcome message coming from the sheet so i hope you were able to hear that Alexa stop goodbye so yeah that's uh, that's the message coming from the sheet as you can hear it says this is a welcome message coming from the sheet so uh, let's quickly see how that is happening and what we have done in the code so in the code we have used a simple library called uh, the gspread library and uh, this library has a function called the service account function since we are we are not using any you know we are not using it on the on the system but we are using it over here so uh, we need to uh, you know provide the path for the credentials file so uh, this is done using this variable and inside the file name you just need to provide the path since it's not inside any folder or anything it's locally you know right here so just provided the name of the file which is credentials.json and using this uh, it will be able to you know uh, uh, pick up the, the credentials from this file and get access to the service account once it has access to the service account we need to specify uh, which sheet do we want to access so there are several ways to do that uh, the method we are using is open by url there is also a method using which you can open by name and uh, open by uh, just the key you know you see this key over here you can just open the sheet using this key as well so yeah that's uh, those are the three ways you can do it but we are using open by url over here so we have specified this url and passed it to this function and once that is done 
all the data from that sheet can now be you know accessed via this uh, this variable sh so let's see what else we are doing in the in the launch request handler so now that we have access to this sheet, you can see that the, in google sheets there are particular you know there are several worksheets that can be a part of a sheet so if i just cl click on this plus sign i can create another worksheet called sheet 2 this one is sheet 1 right so we need to specify which sheet worksheet inside of a sheet do we need to access i hope i'm not uh, confusing you guys but uh, since we are using the first worksheet so its indexing starts from zero so we have selected here we have said that uh, you know get worksheet number zero so which means it will get the first worksheet once we have uh, the data of the worksheet now we need to access the data of a particular cell inside that worksheet so this is how you capture that and uh, you just simply use a get function and say worksheet dot get a1 and uh, you know once once you you do this uh, you get uh, you get the value in a1 but that value is a list inside a list so the actual string is like uh, two levels inside of that that is why we are using these two indexes zero inside zero and once you do that you will get the text information uh, the string information that was uh, you know there in the cell number a1 which was sorry which was right here and this is how this skill is able to read information from uh, you know from from the sheet additionally this example just covers you no know, uh, this example just covers this uh, this basic functionality which is reading but additionally if you want to uh, you know do more with it like write to it or share uh, the sheet access with other email ids and all of that then you can refer to this uh, you know github uh, documentation for the gspread library and it contains a lot of other interesting things and once you have set up this uh, you know you've integrated the sheet with uh, your google uh, credentials and all of that so i think uh, using all of these uh, functions should be a piece of cake and you'll be uh, able to do all of this uh, you know without any hassle if you face any issues then uh, you know do do let us know in the comment section with that we have uh, come to the end of the video and that's all that i wanted to you know show you in this tutorial i hope this was helpful and uh, if you guys like it then uh, you know don't forget to press the like button on on this video and if you're new to the channel uh, then you know make sure you subscribe because we keep coming up with uh, you know such interesting topics and uh, try to explain it to you guys uh, in you know as less time as possible so uh, yeah that's that's all for from my side for this video i'll see you in the next one till then goodbye